welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Today we've got the Spark out in something a little bit different here. I've designed and 3D printed an adapter to carry uh, an 808 keychain camera on the leg. So I'm going to see how this works. Now, hopefully I got everything going correct on the 808 keychain camera working correct. And uh, so I've checked hover. I'm good to fly. I've got satellites. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this up. Now this is the first time I've flown this, so I want to be a little bit careful with it. So, definitely I think you can see the camera on there. And if it's recording, it's recording me. It's, now the camera is pointing back towards me. And I'm just kind of doing a walk around. I want to start video on the copter. And you can see it's hovering pretty good, so it's compensating for the extra weight. I don't know how this is going to perform, so I want to be a little bit careful with it. So I'm just going to kind of mess with it a little bit in normal mode. You can tell it's carrying a little extra load, but it's not struggling that hard with it. Hopefully you can see it up there. Hopefully I'm getting it in frame. I kind of want to see how the aerodynamics of this also work its way out. So far it seems pretty good. All right, I'm just going to take it out that way a little bit. Yeah, it definitely pulls a little bit on it. Now, why did it just decide it wanted to go to Addy mode? Now it's back in GPS mode. So, uh, I've got 12 satellites, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, I'm going to switch to sport mode. Let's see what happens in sport mode. Well, first of all, I've got to point it the right way. Definitely the weight is uh, a little bit of a factor. Uh, sorry, I have to readjust you guys. I'm going to take my glasses off to fly in. It pulls a little bit with the added weight from normal sport flying, which would be expected. This is kind of a little guy for that much weight, which isn't too bad. See, I lost a little altitude with that, which is a little bit not, not normal, but I think to be expected. So putting it in uh, some loops here. Put in some tight loops, come out of the tight loop, another tight loop. Ah, oh, so far I, uh, I don't want to, I want to knock on some wood here, but. But so far, so good.
want to check out things. I still got plenty of battery. So it's not been too detrimental on the battery, but I do, fly, do find flying in sport mode is usually more battery friendly than uh, actually normal mode. I think it picks up a little bit of lift with all the fast forward motion. So, uh, you know, again, it's hovering pretty stable. Now notice I've got it held on there with two zip strips in the, in, in the, on each leg. And then the camera is also locked in by the back by a zip strip. So this isn't going to really go anywhere. And it's really tough getting the legs off. So, and all four would have to come off for it to fall off. So again, you have to be careful. I do not recommend flying over people with or without this. You know, again, you can see I'm out here in a big open space messing around. Um, you know, so obviously always safety first. So, uh, again, I'm hope, hopefully this is recording. I haven't messed with the, uh, the 808 keychain camera in a while. I set it to power on record in its little any startup file. So hopefully it's recording and getting everything because uh, I think this would be kind of cool. I think I'm going to also design up another version that also sort of faces forward and, and down a little bit. So it, uh, you get two videos. And then I'm thinking about, I could even do up one with uh, uh, anti-vibration mount. So I think that would be pretty cool also. So uh, anyways, I'm going to take it out for another just quick, well, there's a car coming, so I want to be careful. I don't know where that car is going. So what I'm going to do, since I don't know where that car is going, I think I'm going to call this a flight. You know, you can hear the uh, propellers basically pulling against it. So you can hear it does have a little bit of extra load to it. So... So I want to bring it back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think I'm going to call it a flight for this one. I don't know what this car behind me is going to be doing. So I want to be safe. So anyways, I'm going to bring this down. And let's back it up a little bit. And now it's moving over a little bit. Okay. So, I want to make sure I save up the video on the main copter so we've got uh, both videos. Um, let's take a quick look here at this. So I'm going to power off the copter for safety and put my glasses back on. Yep, it's still blinking so that's a good sign. So I'm going to hold the power button for a couple seconds and now it appears to be going off. So I think that's a good thing. I think maybe we got video. But I want to hold this up so you guys can kind of see how this uh, all kind of fits together and uh, how the camera sits in there so you see the different uh, angles. Sorry if I'm getting some wind noise in there. The wind's kind of kicking up behind me. So anyways, you know the routine. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, hit me in the comments below. This will be out on Thingiverse if you have a 3D printer. Feel free to print it. Let me know your makes. I really appreciate it if you make it, if you post the make up there. Follow me on Thingiverse too. Doing a lot of stuff for the Spark, etc. I've got some landing legs and stuff I got uh, in the works. And so I've already done prop guards and things like that for this. So a lot more coming. And also, don't forget, subscribe button is going to be up over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.